In this video, I'm going to show you some useful keyboard shortcuts. First, I'm generating a tone glide beginning with 500Hz rising until 1200Hz for 2 seconds. The ramping is applied to smooth out the beginning and ending. The RMS level is set at negative 20 dB. Open the waveform and play. Now, press F4 to display the spectrum for the entire duration. When you make selection, the spectrum is only for the selected part. You can see the peak of the spectrum moving up or down according to the selection. Also, if you press the spacebar with the selection, you can play only the selected part. Press the up arrow key a few times to zoom in, then press the left or right arrow key to go back or forward in time. When no selection is made, it shows the spectrum of the waveform that is displayed. So we can check the spectrum as we browse the signal in time. To zoom out, you can press the down arrow key a few times, but to show the entire duration of the waveform right away, just press the F5 key. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the size of the waveform window without changing the waveform axis. Press F3, go to adjustment mode, then adjust the window size. Press F3 again or escape key to go back to the normal mode. So the size of axis is adjusted with the window size. Now I just made another signal Y, bandpass noise from 200 to 300 hertz for the same duration and RMS as X. Adjust the window size just like X. Z is X times Y, making a double peak noise band with sweeping frequencies. I forgot to put the RMS scaling factor. I'm putting negative 20 dB. There you go. Press F4. You see only a broadband spectrum without any sweeping because this is for the entire duration. So if you make selection, you see more so instantaneous spectrum like these. You see the double peaks appearing in low frequencies in the beginning and higher frequencies at the end. Now I'm making a stereo signal ZZ, Z on the left, time reversed version of Z on the right. If you just try to adjust settings and variables window, it'll show you the variable ZZ here. Okay, finally, let's play ZZ. Here's another shortcut just for stereo signals. Press F2. So this changes the view of a stereo signal from double axis to single axis. Otherwise, everything is the same. Sometimes it's better to see a stereo signal in the same graph or other times you prefer seeing them separately. Press F2 to go back and forth. 